Right, so hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name's Finn. I sell vintage clothing on Depop. My shop name's Classic Op. I've been selling for about six months now and I thought it's time to make a YouTube channel. I'm gonna be doing plenty of unboxings, Depop related stuff, and once the pandemic's over, I've got lots of good things planned. So yeah, today I've got an unboxing. Instead of just yapping on, I'm just gonna get straight into it, so enjoy the video. Right, so on the 2nd of February, I ordered 30 college slash USA sports sweatshirts. I ordered 30 drug rugs. If you don't know what they are, they're on screen there. I ordered 200 random printed sweatshirts. On the 4th of February, I ordered 30 college slash USA sports sweatshirts again, 30 drug rugs. And on the 25th of February, I ordered one bale of sweatshirts. I ordered 50 Tommy Hilfiger slash Ralph Lauren knitted sweatshirts. And I ordered 30 track slash tracky pants, whatever they're called. So they should be coming very soon. I'm not sure what's coming when, but it will be within the next few days. So I'll keep you guys updated and I'll do the unboxing once it arrives. I am terrible at explaining things. So let me properly break it down for you. Right, so I made three separate orders from a vintage wholesaler. One on the 2nd of February, one on the 4th of February, and one on the 25th of February. And they've still not delivered my order. As of today, it's been about 33 days since I ordered. That's 792 hours. And if you want that in minutes, it's 47,520. In that time, I could have walked from my house to Greece and still had 142 hours to catch a tan. This means that I've had barely any stock on my Depop account for weeks. I'm gonna lose my job. Therefore, I've been unable to make any money to pay the bills. How much did this cost me? Well, that's absolutely none of your business. 1,300. Wait, what? 1,300? Okay, so. The drug rugs were £144, the college ones were 360 the random printed ones were 360 the Ralph Lauren and Tommy Hilfiger knitted sweaters were 255 and 50 English pennies, the sweatshirt bale was £102, and the track pants were £108. This video that you're seeing right now is going to be the first unboxing. <laughs> Right, so I've just woke up to a message, my driver's delivering my parcel in the next hour. It's currently 10.22, so let me get showered and then yeah, we'll uh, get everything sorted. Why is it still recording? Am I disabled? Oh my god, how'd you stop it? How'd you stop recording? Wait, oh yes, wait a minute, Mr. Postman. Right, so I've just received a delivery. I'm gonna open the box, see what's in there. I'm pretty sure it's Ralph Lauren and Tommy Hilfiger knitted sweaters. Box came very damaged. It cost me 255 pounds and 50 pence. So yeah, let's get into it. I'm gonna open it from the top and we'll just go through and see what's in there. Um, looks quite good so far. Actually looks quite good. Uh, don't even know if you can tell, but let's see what we've got. Right, so first we've got this cable knit style Tommy Hilfiger embroidered sweatshirt size small decent probably fit a medium as well pretty nice piece probably get me quite a bit of money for that i've got this one thin tommy hilfiger size large probably shrunk a bit would say it's a large women's by my guess still got a tag on pretty decent really thin material so it's not the best this one's inside out Let's see what we've got just a basic tommy hilfiger sweater normal embroidered logo size large Quite nice. Another similar piece. And this one's thick material. It's really nice. Got this orange Ralph Lauren piece. Green embroidered logo. Oh, there we go. Focus. Size XL. Probably a large. <laughs> it's a really nice piece. It's really nice. Ralph Lauren. Kind of cream coloured. Really nice size as well. It's a large. There we go. Embroidered polo logo. Tommy Hilfiger. Kind of a creamy grey colour. It's really nice. Size XL. Looks quite good. This is a sick piece. This is a cable knit. Chaps Ralph Lauren. Really nice. Like, look at the look at the logo on there. It's not going to focus. There we go. A really nice piece. Got another Tommy Hilfiger sweatshirt. Do I see a quarter zip? Yes. These are what I want. These are what I want. These get me so much money. Ralph Lauren khaki quarter zip. Burgundy embroidered horse logo. Whatever you call it. Really nice piece. Really good size as well. I'm guessing a medium. Yeah, it's a medium. So, really good piece. Get me good money for that as well. This one looks crazy. This is a really nice piece. Tommy Hilfiger, like the color on the sleeves and the shoulders. Now I'm not too keen on these. I hate zip ups, full zips, never get me any money. Another plain white Tommy Hilfiger sweatshirt. It's quite thin, um, size XL, decent. This one's really nice. The material's absolutely 
perfect. Not too thin, not too heavy, but um, yeah, nice Tommy Hilfiger red. These have been in great condition so far, like absolutely amazing condition. None have had any major marks on, which is good. So I ordered 50 in here in total. I hope there's 50. Last time I received less, which wasn't too good. This is Tommy Hilfiger. Uh, there's no logo on it. Check the sleeves. Yeah, so there's a logo on the sleeves. Kind of really dark. Might be a bootleg. I'm not too sure, but... Right, so I'll just turn the brightness down because I realised the lighting was really bright and it was struggling to focus. Next piece. Tommy Hilfiger, not the best material. Looks like a bootleg. It's got a rip in it as well. As you can tell there, it's just got a hole in. Gonna have to sew this together, see what I can do with it. Another Tommy Hilfiger sweatshirt. It's quite nice. Just some brown tag at the bottom. I've realised that I'm getting so much um, Tommy Hilfiger and barely any Ralph Lauren, which was like last time. Uh, last time I only received, out of 50, I received about 10 Ralph Lauren pieces, the rest were Tommy Hilfiger. I would prefer Ralph Lauren. Tommy Hilfiger's just as good. Pretty shit. <laughs> Tommy Hilfiger. Then we've got this embroidered logo. Polo Ralph Lauren, quarter zip. Kind of a navy blue colour with a red horse. Size medium, really nice. And another one, this is amazing, this is amazing colour as well. Right, so we've got another quarter zip just after that one. It's really nice, looks really good. There's a little bit of marking on the neck. It's another quarter zip. <laughs> oh my god. I love this. It's another quarter zip. Uh, this time it's a really thin material, kind of a sporty, athletic-y material. <laughs> oh, <laughs> this is sick. I'm loving this box so far. Got another quarter zip Ralph Lauren, really nice. Love the stripes. Like this is classic Ralph Lauren. I like the horses when it's like different colours. So the horse is brown and then the guy on the horse, he's got white pants on with a red shirt. I prefer that to when it's all one colour. Extra large, extra large youth I'm guessing. Oh no, I thought it was a quarter zip. It's really nice, but it's a zip up and the neck's just kind of weird. Like it's a, I hate necks like that. Really happy with this box so far. Still got quite a lot to go as well. Oh yes, I love this so much. This is an amazing piece. Got this exact piece last time as well. I sold it for about 30 pound, which is really good. It's chaps, Ralph Lauren. Pieces like this are what get me my money back. What is that? Oh, this doesn't look too good. Oh dear. Oh, you know what, it's not, mm, Jesus Christ. This is ugly. This is disgusting. What is that? This is terrible, this is a disgrace. So, so ugly, why is it so ugly? This one looks absolutely shocking. Another Tommy Hilfiger, probably would not catch my grandma wearing this. Crap, to be fair so far, I'm really happy with what I've got. They're saving the worst till last. <laughs> hey, it's just not nice, is it? It's... That's crap. Another Tommy Hilfiger piece, it's absolutely tiny. I'm six foot four, so that's probably why it looks tiny, but embroidered logo on the back, embroidered logo on the front. It's a really thin material. I don't like ones with thin material, if you couldn't tell. I'm always complaining about them. Extra, extra small, TTP. What is that, that, that means tiny, tiny, petite, probably. <laughs> this is tiny, it's so small. Oh my days. You naughty, naughty, you teasing me. Still got loads more, you know. We've still got like half a box full. All right, so we've got another Chaps one. Needs a bit of a wash. There is a logo on it, but you can't even tell. It's like a crest here, black on black. Uh, but it's really nice, it's a nice piece. Just probably won't sell as easy. Just because of black on black, you can't really tell and it's kind of a little bit beat up, but we move. <clears throat> oh my God. Okay, so we've got another Chaps one. This one's really nice, it's got the embroidered logo. Move it up close so you can see, really nice. Good size as well. Mediums and larges always sell, like always sell. Chaps again, this is more of a t-shirt than a sweatshirt. Long sleeve t-shirt, as you can tell from the bottom here. It's, you can tell it's definitely a t-shirt. It's another Chaps one, I can tell. This is another Chaps one, I'm absolutely gassed with this. Honestly, if you couldn't tell, I love Chaps. Um, sell really well. Size large of size XL. Still be able to sell this. Another Chaps one. Jesus Christ, this one's huge. This one's a large. This one's really nice. Kind of khaki, embroidered logo. Really nice. Really good piece. This isn't looking too good. What is that? Oh my! My primary school crush would not wear this to the Year Six disco. Ugh. It's like, I can't even explain the material. It's like, do you know when you get super glue and just throw it on something and put glitter on? That's what it looks like. That is so ugly. That is disgusting. Get out of my sight. I never want to see that. It's not as bad as the others. I'm not going to lie, I've just had a look in the box and the rest of it looks absolutely shit. But it's okay, because... I hate, I hate this stuff. I hate small stuff. I'll just whack it up in a bundle on eBay, like all these bad ones I'm just going to put in a bundle on eBay for like £10. I've just realised on this one as well, there's like 
bleach marks. Got another Tommy Hilfiger one. Oh my god. So we've got another similar one but in black. This one's got a massive hole in. Uh, just gonna have to sew that together. It's got a massive hole in. What is that? It's like a science teacher's coat, but red. <laughs> it's Ralph Lauren, by the way. Tommy Hilfiger one, women's, tiny, quite poor material. Got another Tommy Hilfiger one, this one's tiny once again. Another Tommy Hilfiger one, really thin material. Not too bad. Another Tommy Hilfiger piece, library teacher 5000. It's all right. It's not all right, it's not all right, sorry, it's shit. Oh, I see another quarter zip, but it's not this one. Another Ralph Lauren, this isn't a sweater, it's a t-shirt. Don't know what the size is, it says PP. Pee PP. -pee. Pee -pee. This looks good. Oh yes, thank you so much. Quarter zip, khaki, burgundy horse. We'll sell it all day long, really nice piece. Happy with that to get in. Ooh, buttoned up quarter zip, Ralph Lauren. Really nice, green horse, really nice piece. Getting into the last few of the box here. This is stunning, this is really nice. Like, that's a really nice sweater. Another Ralph Lauren piece, this is huge. It's really nice, really good piece. Getting into the last two of the box and we have got a stinker. I just find that thin material on sweaters never sell. Nice. And to the last piece of the box, got this kind of sky pastel blue, uh, Ralph Lauren v-neck and that is it. So yeah, that's the box done. I'm gonna iron these and sell them. I actually just sold a quarter zip there, £25. Yes, thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you're new. I've got plenty more unboxings coming soon. And yeah, I'll see you later.